Hello everyone. I uh, thought I'd take today and uh, spend a little time d discussing with you some of the books that I have found to be a huge uh, impact on my photography. Books that have helped me to be a better photographer. First one I want to mention is one that's written by Daryl Young. Uh, it's available through Nikonians Press. I, I got mine on uh, uh, Amazon, and I'll put a link for you down here. Now I have this particular book right here happens to be Mastering the Nikon D810. And I also have one for Mastering the D7200. Now, I knew that I was going to be getting the D7200 in April of 2016, so for Christmas, I requested mastering the, D, the Nikon D7200 as a Christmas present. So I read that book um, from the time that I got it at Christmas all the way up until I received the, uh, the actual camera. But what makes this book so good is um, it doesn't just tell you uh, about what settings are and things like that, but it gives you recommendations what the changes uh, that you make with those settings, how they affect uh, the image. Um, I still carry uh, the two books with me everywhere because um, every now and then I'm like, okay, so what is 3D tracking or what is uh, uh, the different uh, light uh, sensing? Uh, what, what are the different uh, white balances used for? Now, in the book, he also references the manual that comes with the, the camera. So, he'll tell you what page uh, that is on in the, uh, in the book. Um, gives you uh, all kinds of information. Even explains on how the sensor works. How the individual pixels on the sensors are. Amazing book. One that... Um, I think if, you, if you've if you gone and purchased a, a Nikon camera, um, I don't know what all ones he, he makes these for, but I do know that he's um, I, I have the one for the D7200 and the D810. Now another book I want to mention is The Essence of Photography by Bruce Bonham, Barn, Barnburn, I, I'm not sure how to say his name. Again, I'll put a link. Uh, in the description for you. This one is called The Essence of Photography, Seeing and Creativity. Now this book um, is a, an excellent book. It doesn't go into a tremendous amount of detail like the next book that I'm going to tell you about, written by the same person. But it does uh, cover a lot of uh, how, how, how to how to vi uh, visualize a scene and be creative uh, with it. He, it's an excellent read. And again, I highly recommend it. It's got a lot of photos. Um, the book is 186 uh, pages long. Um, in, the, in the photo, he's got a lot of his own photography. And then, uh, of course, the one on the cover is his. And then in the back, he'll re he references the, the page number, uh, the image, and um, what camera he used, um, what lens he used, and um, uh, the film uh, or digital that was taken, uh, aperture, aperture, shutter speeds, all that, all that information about the individual photos. Um, one of the really good chapters in this book is. Uh, let me, Breaking the rules and following your passions. One of the things that photographers, a lot of photographers get caught up in, in my opinion, is uh, the rules. You know, the rule of thirds and the rules of the uh, shutter speed must be equal to the length of the lens and all that other stuff. And um, one of the things that uh, I learned from, from uh, reading this book is that uh, let your creativity um, and your passion drive you. 
because you know you could have the perfect textbook image but it doesn't have any passion in it and there's no emotion there's no story but it is textbook so keep that in mind the next book this book made the largest impact on my photography of any book I have ever uh, read uh, and I've read a lot um, as I mentioned before I, I started off with the joy of photography and uh, I have all kinds of photography books um, and you know I've got uh, Ansel Adams uh, uh, biography I've got uh, 600 uh, a book called 600 images of Ansel Adams and uh, because you know you, you a lot of times you look to other photographers and um, other images for inspiration to help inspire you in what you're doing in your style I'm not trying to copy somebody else's style but trying to create your own style now the book <laughs> this book I got for Christmas this is the art of photography and uh, it's available on Amazon and I'll put a link down by the same person um, and I have to tell you when I started reading this book because when I opened it on Christmas morning um, I, I, I wanted to dig right into it you know because uh, it was one of those books that uh, you know I had could only read about the description of it on Amazon and didn't really know um, what I was in for when I got the book. And I'll be honest with you, as honest as I possibly can. When I started reading this book, I would only read a chapter or two at a time and then take a day or so to go over in my head what was being told to me. It actually made my head hurt. Now there was a chapter in here, it must have been the third, fourth, fifth chapter, but there was a chapter in here that I read the chapter and I don't, I was like, I don't get it. So I had my wife re read it also. And there was this, there was uh, a uh, um, uh, example images. And she read it. She looked at the images, and she's like, "I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand either. I, I'm, I'm not getting that." I'm like, "Okay, so I don't feel, you know, too awfully stupid." By the time I got to chapter ten, that chapter made perfect sense. <coughs> Absolutely perfect sense. And in my first video, I mentioned um, three things that are required to be successful. Um, one is talent the other is hard work and the third one is passion and if you can have either any of those two as long as one of those are passion that's where I learned it from in this book this this book is just I'm telling you if you want to upgrade your photography because it he actually stimulates questions and stuff like if you look at your photographs that you take and, and, you, and if you're honest with yourself and you were hanging that on the wall in your house is it art or is it furniture did you hang it there because it goes along with everything or did you hang it there because it's a piece of art and you want uh, uh, the room to surround that one of the nicest um, compliments I ever got on one of my images that I sent to uh, a client out in Arizona um, the image was getting delivered because I shipped directly from the lab the image was getting delivered on a Saturday so I gave him a call to make sure somebody was there and he was on his way home and he said yeah his wife was there to receive it and I said well when you get home and you open it up give me a call because you know you're always kind of concerned you know they spent a lot of money and and uh, are they going to be happy with it or are they, are they not going to be happy with it? So I asked him if he'd just give me a call, let me know what he thought. So a few hours go by and I haven't heard anything. And I'm like, oh 
no, 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 no. This is, this can't be good. You know, they say that no news is good news, but that's not what you're thinking. Especially when you've asked the client to give you a call. And um, so finally, I, I couldn't take it anymore. I broke down and I gave him a call. And uh, his son answered the phone. And he says, you want to talk to my daddy? I said, yeah. He said, okay, just a minute. And uh, a couple minutes later, his dad picked up the phone and he says, hey, you're probably wondering why I haven't called. And I said, yeah, I was, I was getting a little worried. He says, uh, well, I'll be honest with you. When, uh, when my wife and I sat down and we opened the, the package and uh, uh, seen the image, we just sat there and we just stared at it. We were just mesmerized by the image. And uh, then we got to looking around the living room and he says, uh, I'm painting the third wall. Um, we're completely redoing the living room to uh, make this image the centerpiece of our living room. That was the greatest uh, compliment that I could, I could ever ask for. That someone uh, felt that my image was worthy of painting walls and rearranging the living room to make my image the centerpiece of their living space. I don't think that ever would have occurred. I don't think I could have uh, had an image that had that kind of impact, that had that uh, uh, brought forth that type of emotion if I wouldn't read this book. Um, now, I don't get any endorsements from these guys. No, I'm just, I'm telling you my own personal experiences. But, wow, the art of photography may not make your head hurt like it did mine, but it, it uh, it's definitely worth reading. Um, and <clears throat> there's a spot in here where he stresses that you continue reading when you go into black and white film and uh, film development and printing and color film and printing. I too recommend that you continue to read those chapters even if you don't have any intentions on ever printing. But understanding what uh, uh, the printing process is all about and the development process is all about will help you in your post-processing. And with that, I want to say thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, share, um, subscribe, tell your friends about it. And again, uh, like I said, I will put the uh, links um, down in the description so you can go check these, uh, these books out for yourself. Uh, have a great day and thanks again for watching.